Hi guys and welcome to Life, Love and Endless Laundry and welcome back to my part two of my budget bathroom makeover. So today I'm just going to recap what I did in part one and also show you the decor that I got and how I set it up. So if you would like to see how I transformed my bathroom then please keep watching. But first I wanted to mention that this is part of the Room of the Month Challenge hosted by Heidi from Heidi Sambal Home. This is also a hop, so when you are done with my video, check my description box and click on the link and you will be hopping on over to the next video. I'm not going to tell you who it is, that's part of the fun. So after you're done watching my video, check that link out. So this is my bathroom before. I had kind of like a farmhouse gray and white color scheme I guess going on. Very rustic. I had made that on my DIY channel <laughs> if you're interested in seeing that. Um, but then on part one of the video I showed you the colors that I chose to paint my um, cabinets and my walls. I just picked a charcoal gray. And originally I wanted the Annie Sloan, but my hardware store didn't have it. That's the brand. Um, so we just kind of created our own charcoal paint. <laughs> we kind of just created our own charcoal gray color. And then I painted my walls. I mixed, I think it was Mindful Gray and Revere Pewter. Those are the colors I have on my walls downstairs. I just like the combination. It's not beige, it's not tan, it's not gray, it's just kind of a combination of both. I also took everything out of my cabinets, organized them, and painted the inside because they had like water stains and product stains. So I'm really happy with those. They've stayed nice and neat, <laughs> which is part of the challenge. And so I do apologize this is where we're starting today. This video. Um, my it, daughter's um, helping me today. So it's that's such awesome. a small space. So we're it's going hard to clear off the angles. Counters, and, and when you're facing the window, it kind of makes everything look dark or really yellow. So I wanted to show you what I got, um, the decor I got for the bathroom. I, like I said, I went extremely budget friendly. I got some items from Amazon. I got this rug, which I thought was really pretty. It's kind of modern farmhouse boho style. I just, I loved the simpleness of it and the little fringes at the, um, on either side. And this shower curtain, after we put it up, I'm not sure that I'm going to keep it. We'll see, I might um, put it in our other bathroom. But I'm not sure that I like how it goes with this bathroom. You'll have to let me know. I also got this um, soap pump and it was part of a um, set. They're all like a bamboo uh, metal look, I guess. But I love them, they're super simple. They're gonna be easy to clean. It came with this tray and it came with a soap holder, which was good because um, this is kind of mainly our like, like our main bathroom with, you know, the shower and everything, but my daughter uses it a lot. So I needed something for her face soap and it came with a toothbrush holder and a garbage can, which was definitely necessary. So I was really excited to have my daughter help me because she's really good at like decorating things and just placing things so that they look good. <laughs> um, so she just kind of had this in mind and I just love how she set it up. It's super pretty, super simple and functional. And she just kept decorating, just laying things out how she wanted, playing around with the placement while I took down the old shower curtain and put the new one up. We're 
was this a Clarissa? Um, it was. And I just love this rug. I think it's so pretty and it kind of brightens up the space. The flooring isn't my favorite, but that wasn't in the budget to replace. So we're just going to cover a little bit of it up with this rug. And here's what it looks so looks like so far. Here's the um, shower curtain. Let me know what you guys think, what I should change it to or if I should keep this one. I have to keep in mind our tub because it's a teal color. It's original to the house. So, you know, 60s style. <laughs> So then when my husband was available, he helped me hang the shelf. I have a video on my DIY channel on how I made these. I actually didn't make them. I cut them down from a huge shelf that we had. I put one in our laundry room and I just sanded them like crazy to get the color that I wanted. And he hung them up for me. So thank you very much. <laughs> And I'm just going to paint those screws so that they don't stand out so much. And then I'm taking this base. Can't remember, I think I got it at Joanne Fabrics last year. And then I'm taking this greenery that I just got from Walmart. I think it's so pretty. It's their boxwood, but it's a lot better than last year. I actually saw Kristen Kay um, do a haul and she showed these, so I had to go out and get them. I thought a cute little basket would be cute up there to hold like washcloths and stuff as well. And this clock we've had for years, so I have no idea where it came from, um, but I like to have a clock in the bathroom. And here it is all finished let me know what you guys think of the transformation I will have everything from this candle to all the decor that I showed you in my description box if I can find them still <laughs> um, and don't forget to hop on over to the next video thanks so much for watching guys if you're new to my channel I would love for you to join my YouTube family and I'll see you next time bye